Wait till election day. This is not this is the it's school. just started. Y'all open the gates of hell and we're going to walk through the thing. Prairie Grove School District in the midst of a leadership change after a special school board meeting got heated tonight. Thanks for joining us for your 5 News at 10. I'm Darren Bob. And I'm Erica Thomas. The superintendent and middle school principal are stepping down after parents and teachers were upset over a video shown during a training session focused on school shootings. 5 News reporter Rachel Williams tells us what happened. Emotions were high at the school board meeting. Dozens of parents and teachers were angry and upset that the administration is sweeping this under the rug. I feel completely unsupported and completely disrespected. At Friday night's meeting, teachers told Five News that on November 30th, middle school teachers attended a meeting and at the end of the meeting, administrators had one more thing to show them. And he showed us a video that played somber music um, and it was in like in memoria style um, that said on December 14th, 2022, a gunman entered Prairie Grove Middle School. This many people were injured, this many people were killed. The December 14th date is ominous as it's the day of the Sandy Hook School shooting. Teachers describe the video with students and teachers pictures shown on the screen as if they died in the foreshadowed school shooting. I am absolutely horrified to work for a district that would allow this. I spoke with one parent who does not want her identity known that her own children were victims shown in the video. She says witnessing the video completely broke her. I feel like it took two of my greatest fears, my fear of losing a child and my fear of a school shooting and put them together to terrorize me. Teachers told us the superintendent said the goal of the video was to shock them and be impactful so teachers would start closing their doors at school. So I feel like she used a terroristic method to try to get us to follow policy when we were already understanding fully how serious it was. At the meeting, school board members approved Prairie Grove Middle School Principal Shane Taylor taking a leave of absence for the remainder of the school year and a leave of absence for Superintendent Reba Holmes, who will then retire next June 30th. Crane says teachers aren't given the tools to adequately follow the district's safety protocols. The middle school does not have night locks to safely lock our doors like the other buildings. The shades that cover the windows on our doors do not fully cover the doors. The future of the teachers at Prairie Grove Middle School is up in the air right now. Most teachers told me at the meeting that they have plans to not attend school on December 14th because that was the date that was listed in the video. Rachel Williams, 5 News. The issue is likely to come up for discussion at the district's regular school board meeting later this month.